as a part of the audit process, which is separate from the recount process, the Department of State has asked for the election parameters to be turned over to election systems and software so that they can uh, also assist in the audit process. What I have done is drafted a contract that we're requiring ES and S to sign indicating that they will not release any of the data or, and uh, unless expressly given permission by the canvassing board. And I'm asking the representative from the election systems and software to sign that contract. She's here uh, with the authority to go ahead and do that so that we can give the parameters of the election to ESNS to assist with the audit process. So at this time, we're going to sign those contracts. I would, uh, I'd like to uh oppose that until I've had a chance to read the contract myself and uh, at the same time uh, this will be taking place in what part of the schedule of what we're doing. Again, it has nothing to do with the recount. We're going to continue with the recount. This is a part of the audit process that was requested by the Department of State, which as I announced this morning, The Department of State has uh, started some preliminary uh, observations and investigation into the conduct of the election, and they have asked that uh, we include the vendor as well. I think, I think my objection at this time, we're saying the Secretary of State or the Department of State? S Secretary of State for the state of Florida. Okay, well, okay, I always know him as Secretary of State. Uh, I still would like to, you know, read the contract, have some time, bring it back at, at a future time, not, you know, within, say, the next hour, and then I'll be ready to vote on it. I want to see, you know, what we're turning over as responsibility. I, I, I believe as one uh, canvassing board member, it, it, it's, it's our call to a point. And uh, until I feel comfortable with that, I'll keep that authority at least as one vote. I concur, Commissioner. I'd like to review the contract that has been presented and then maybe we can have questions if we have any um, after we review that. The recount has virtually nothing to do with this except for the fact that there's tremendous undervote. Okay, the undervote is the issue, but recount can't catch the undervote. So we're kind of going through a situation where why in the world they would need to have that before the recount is completed it makes no sense to me at all. Mr. Drury is the individual from the Bureau of Voting Systems Certification that made the request for us to turn over, uh, and I'll let him explain exactly uh, what that request was and what it was for. Again, uh, ESNS has made the request, and the request is to obtain your election definition and your PXD files. What they want to do is take a look at to see if there was any problems with the coding or with the, the coding in conjunction with the firmware version of the team before the year. Florida, see if there's any anomalies, uh, lightning, lightning issues. The agreement is to protect the canvassing board from ESNS releasing any of this data uh, because it is, uh, they're going to be looking at it, but they cannot use this data, they cannot release this data to anyone. Uh, it is just a copy of what we have, and it's a copy of what the Department of State has. And we're using ESNS to help us identify if there could be any problems with the equipment. This is a recount, a public recount of citizens' votes in Sarasota County. The audit was advertised, I believe, as starting on Wednesday or a different day. I'm not a computer scientist, so I do need to go and get back up opinion on this, but my first impression is, is that if you allow the vendor in to be, all it says is, the only thing it says is number 20 is the only thing where it's saying what they're actually going to do. In other words, it seems as though the recount should be completed with the, with the software intact, the system intact, on the equipment that was used election night, and then when the recount is done, if they want to do an audit, and again, I apologize, I'm not a computer scientist, but I'd like to go make some phone calls because I don't know exactly what the vendor's intending to do. It just says provide consulting services in the recount 
of the November 7th election. What are those, what are they going to be doing? They are not providing any services. They're here to observe our recount. We have a process that is prescribed by law. We are continuing through with that process. They will have, they have no access to any of our, our equipment or any of our uh, ballots. They're only going to be looking internally at the way the way we program the election to see if there are any anomalies that they can see. It's not it's not going to have anything to do with the recount or with the manual recount. It's a separate process altogether. If if there if, if there are anomalies in this election then we should know it in this recount. They shouldn't be able to come in and fix the anomalies. That's part of what this process is showing. Now, again, I, I'm going to go, I don't know why this would take away any of the power of the canvassing board and why this requires a contract and why the vendor should be involved in this process of going into the software while a recount is in process. The canvassing board uh, has not made that determination yet. That's why the commission and I want the time to review and have questions answered uh, our own self. So we're not going to say that this, this contract is not signed at this time. We wanted you to be aware of it. We wanted you to understand it. You have copies of it. We are going to review it. We're going to make a determination as a board if we're going to go forward with this agreement or not. I knew that. Is it the yes and yes contract? Yeah. Did they sign the contract? No, they, they're not going to. But that one looks signed. Kathy Dunn signed it, but she wanted the rest of the canvassing board to sign it, and they've refused. They're not going to let ESNS do the audit until after the pre count. Right. Isn't that good? Uh, it was a little hard to tell what this contract was all about until you got to the 20th, the 20th paragraph, line, yeah. which says. The contractor, being ESNS, shall perform services to provide consulting services in the recount of the November, November 7th election and to include to and including technical support in the analysis of the voting equipment and software, recount procedures, r report analysis, or any other matter relating to the operation of the equipment. Now, the canvassing board, to their credit, of course, there are three members of the can canvassing board. Paul Supervisor. Paul here. You had Judge Galen. You had Phyllis Galen and Kathy Dent is Kathy the, super Dent, is the third sure. member. Mm -hmm. Kathy Dent did sign the contract. To the credit of the other two members of the canvassing board, they they never signed. They it. never signed it. You want to show the front of that? I think it's important for the camera to see that. This contract was apparently you on that? prepared by so the audience can John Dent over the weekend preceding the recount. Now the amazing thing to go. me was there right okay. Here. There we go. This was a this was a letter sent to ESNS from Kathy Dent, um, and she says, "Any questions? Call her husband." The next day, the Department of State came back and said, "Oh, the contract was merely a courtesy, and the state had access to all equipment and personnel anyway, mm -hmm. and so." They said we have access anyway, we even without this contract. With the, so the contract is from their ESNS standpoint is meaningless, or at least that's the approach they're taking. Right. The, in other words, the implication being we at that point apparently meant the Department of State and ESNS had access to all the equipment. I just want to make it perfectly clear. What they are requesting is a copy of the election definition and the PXD files. A copy, not the original 